Welcome back, everyone. So this year, the American Academy of Pediatrics updating its sleep guidelines for infants to prevent SIDS. It is emphasizing the need for babies to continue to sleep on their backs on a flat, non-inclined surface without any kind of soft bedding. It's really important because a lot of incidents of SIDS or sudden infant death, death syndrome are related to overheating, um, suffocation, getting wrapped up in bedding. According to the Academy, approximately 3,500 infants die from sleep-related deaths in the U.S. every year. It also added guidelines including not sleeping in car seats, stroller swings, infant carriers. And for the first six months, they're actually saying parents are encouraged to sleep in the same room as the baby, but not the same bed. The Cleveland Clinic recommends avoiding products that claim to reduce the risk of SIDS because they create kind of this false sense of security. You get a lot of false positive alarms with those. They're not necessarily all accurate. And I think if you have a device like that, it might make you a little bit lax on following the guidelines and making sure that your baby is in that safe space to sleep. Dr. Robinson says, you know, if you're on the fence and wondering about something, talk to your child's pediatrician if you have any concerns about these updated sleep guidelines.